This is my journey of going from starting from scratch on collecting a Star Wars vintage line from 1977 to 1985. So like I said, we go from scratch and then we go to a full run. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna refocus and we are gonna start collecting figures. I know we went on a little bit of a tangent with the mistake I made with Vader and you know, finding some things like that carded figure that I have, but we're gonna get back to focusing on getting the figures. So today we are gonna get five figures. And I think they're all, I'm looking at getting all of the Empire Strikes Back or at least starting with Empire Strikes Back right now. That's just my favorite movie. I love that film so much. So I figured let's get five figures because I love that film. I probably won't get the most expensive figures today, um, but I want to refocus and just start checking the list down and getting those figures. And after that, I really want to take you guys through some Facebook uh, groups that I dig because I've been looking on there and there's some great deals going on. So I have been buying on eBay and this is really before I started looking at the Facebook groups because you know, I just wasn't comfortable buying things on Facebook. And I know there's that a lot of that stigma where you go to eBay or you go to Amazon, but in Facebook, what I've found is that there's a lot of good deals and trustworthy people. And I just didn't feel like that in the beginning. So I'm catching up with the videos too, slowly but surely. So the first ones that I did, I did buy on eBay. And then I started doing research on Facebook just because, you know, I started watching more videos and seeing more people um, like action figure creator. Um, I saw a video and I'll link it in the chat where he talked about his favorite Facebook groups. So mine are very similar to his. So, you know, that's a good one to watch. So I'm gonna put that in the descriptions but let's get to buying some figures. All right, so we're gonna go to this website that I like to look at, uh, just for reference. It's somebody's um, database on their own collection. I think I thought it was pretty cool. I, I would love to do something like this with my own collection, just to archive it online. But um, all right, so today we're gonna do these five figures. All right, we're gonna do Lobot, Weequay. I know he's Return of the Jedi, but um, <laughs> I kind of like him. Uh, Bosk, Forlom, and the Death Star droid. So let's look at some reference photos and let's go to Lobot first. What a great looking character. You know, um, I've always, even when I was a kid, I thought that this was a cool character, even when I saw the, the movies, but his arms are, are naturally yellow. Um, when I was looking online at some things, it's like you think he wants to have white sleeves because I don't remember his sleeves in the film being this, you know, kind of a yellowish orange type of thing, but this is what he looks like. You know, he comes with a blaster. So let's let's go look for a Lobot. Here's the Lobot that we found, and this is one I had a question on. So when I looked at the description, it didn't really say if the um, the weapon was real or a repro. So I did ask the seller, and the seller did say that um, it was original. Um, it, he said it's not a repro, 100% not a repro. So I trusted him on his word and we bought this figure for $19.95. And um, there you go, I felt confident. So we went ahead and we picked it up. All right, cool. The second one that we're gonna get is Weequay. So Weequay is in The Return of the Jedi. I, I like I like the way that his his headpiece looks. If that's his hair or a headpiece, but here he is. Here's Weequay. And he comes with his staff. Or his uh, his skiff skiff staff. I don't know what it's called officially. Let me know in the chat what it's called, but this is what he looks like. I think he's a great looking character. I really like the detail in his face. Um so let's try to find a good Weequay. So for this one, um, looking at, at the descriptions, figure looked pretty good. Uh, we did end up bidding or asking the buyer to um, to bid down. So we took them from 21 to 14. So that was cool just because the shipping, I uh, wanted to just save on shipping. I thought that shipping was a little bit too high. So um, I just asked and they said, okay. And so same thing for this. I did ask the seller if the weapon was reproduction or original, and they said it was original. So um, we went ahead and picked this one up for $14.73.
All right, let's go back to our reference guide and go to the, let's go to the Empire Strikes Back again. And now we're gonna go to a character that I think looks really, looks really cool, um, Bosk. Um, and uh, if you guys ever, if you guys saw Solo, they do reference Bosk. Like they're gonna take a, a, a job from Bosk. Uh, I thought that was a cool little Easter egg. But yeah, here's Bosk. He does have a super original weapon. I really dig the way that this character looks. He looks like Reptile from Mortal Kombat. Uh, they probably made him. They probably they probably use this as a reference when they made Reptile in Mortal Kombat. I really like this figure. I like that he's in a pilot outfit. I think it's just a really cool looking figure. So let's go get him. So Bosk, here we go. I like this one a lot. This one we're gonna party like it's 1999, and it was on sale for 1999. Another bad joke, but um, this. Seller said that it was the original and that the gun is 100% original. So we went with his word and we, you know, purchased this figure. So let's see when it comes in. All right, so next on the list, I think this is my favorite, uh, just because I never had him. Here he is, Forlong. I mean, look how cool he looks. Like, just his face, whether that's a helmet or that's his actual face, I think it's cool. I think he looks great. I think his... His like trench coat looking thing, plus his chest armor, plus his rare is really original weapon. I think it just looks cool. Um, yeah, I think Forlom is a really good looking character. So let's go see if we can get a good deal on him. Forlom right here. The only thing that was wrong with this little thing on the on the um, the sleeve, so you can see it's you know a little bit messed up on the sleeve. Everything else looks great. Um, so we did pick this up for $28.99. And last but not least, I was thinking that the Death Star droid was in the first 12 and, or at least the first wave, and yeah, I was right. So he does come from the original Star Wars A New Hope. Here he is right here, the Death Star droid. I really like the way that this one looks. You know, it's a, it's a, like a C-3PO type of character, but you know, it's a different mold. You know, the legs might look similar a little bit, but his chest plate, definitely his uh, his bug-like droid features. You know, he does have, you know, some black uh, shoulder pads. But generally, a good looking figure. Um, a lot of these tend to be loose, just like C-3PO. If you've ever had a C-3PO, like I have, he, it's like a, he's like a wet noodle. He just does not stand up over time. So when you get one, if you intend to play with one, then buy two. Put one up and then play with the other because that thing is just gonna be like a rag doll. So, um, you know, I'm looking to find a good one. So let's see if we can go find a good Death Star droid. So for this one, we did buy it for $25. All of these, by the way, were, were $25. No real questions. Um, let's see if he said anything about the loose joints. Nope. Doesn't say anything about the loose joints, so the one thing that we didn't ask, which we probably should have, is how loose the joints are. So we'll just have to see when it actually comes in. I really like the, the color on the shoulders. You know, a lot of the times I've seen these things all scratched up, um, but you know, this one looks pretty good. Like the paint's all there. So we'll just have to check the joints and see what the joints are. <laughs> I think we got some pretty good figures and I'm glad that we're starting to move up on our collection. So let's go revisit the spreadsheet. So let's go check off Lobot and we got him for $23.65, which is not bad. I've seen him go for a little bit less, but I think the one that we got was in pretty good quality. Um, we also got Weeque, so Weeque in The Return of the Jedi. And we got him for $26.00. 
and eight cents. Uh, I have seen him for cheaper too, so you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. But I think that we didn't overspend, which was great. And and it, and we did get a very very nice figure, so um, I'm happy with that. We did get a very nice boss. Um, his we did he was super shiny. You know, hardly any rubs on his paint. I think he was really good quality. We got him for $23.73. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Really liked, uh, really liked what we got. And then we also picked up another bounty hunter. We picked up Forlom. Love this character. The one we picked up was pretty good. His coat was in a little bit, you know, there was some scuffs on his coat, but you know, for, there was some scuffs in his coat, so I think we could have done a, a little bit better job there on finding a better uh, a better figure. But uh, we bought it for thirty five sixty nine, so I'm not upset about that. Um, but you know, after after thinking about it, you know, I think we could have got a better form. But I'm not going to re replace him just yet. We're going to keep him later on down the line. You know, we might think about getting another one or seeing if we can get another one for a better price that's in, in better better condition. But I'm happy with what we got. All right, last but not least, we're going to go to Star Wars A New Hope, and we're going to look at the Death Star droid. You know, um, I, 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 think we did, I think we did a good job. This is the only one I'm not sure about. So take a look at this and let me know what you think. I think we did an okay job. If I was going to grade me, I'd give me like a B- on, on getting this. But, you know, if you guys are, are professional graders out there and you guys want to give me, like, is he a C7, is he a C8, is he, you know, I'm going to go that high. But, yeah, just let me know. I know he's not a beater. I know he's not a beater. But let me know what you think. Um, this is the only one that I'm iffy about. So, at $28.01, I think this one's okay. So, now what I want to do is take you guys through some Facebook groups that I like. And again, um, a lot of the reference that I did on picking the groups that I like was, was done through Action Figure Grader. I'm gonna put a link to his YouTube channel down there. He has a lot of good content. I'm also gonna put a link to the video that I watched that um, you know explains a lot of the face group, uh, Facebook groups that he goes to. But here's the ones that I like. So this is one of the groups that I do like going to a lot, the Imperial Commissary. And um, they focus on the Vintage line and they also focus on you know no reproduction pieces which what which is what I'm going for I know there's a lot of, of discussion over you know um, reproduction non reproduction um, you know I don't want to get into that discussion here it's whatever floats your boat but I since I am buying all um, vintage and no reproduction I do love this group because the people who are selling and buying here are also looking for the same thing there's discussions on it you know that way if you have a question or anything like that, uh, they're they're pretty good about answering it. Uh, they're actually very good about answering it, and also, um, you know, it's very self policing here. You know, trying to get scammers out. So I really like this group a lot. Another one is the the Vintage Modern Star Wars Sales Group. Um, I have been looking at this group a lot. You know, again, check these out yourself. These are the ones that I recommend. There's also one that I like a lot. It's the uh, if you live in California, um, you know, this this one's cool. I, I think they do. Uh, except other people who are out of state, but you know, I, I do like this one because I ask a lot of questions. One other one I do, I do like, and I'm there quite often is the Smuggler's Den. Um, you know, and I know there's there's all kinds of, of groups out there, and, and there's all kinds of postings. I do like this one just because it's um, I don't know every all of these are entertaining. Uh, there's also you know collecting Star Wars and beyond. Um, you know, if you like collecting glasses, if you like collecting, you know, Dixie cups, this group is for you. I do like collecting the Burger King Star Wars glasses. Um, I think those are cool, but then again, that's not part of my focus collection, so I'm not gonna buy the whole set. But um, another, another place that I do like going to is Orange Droid Vintage Toys. These guys will take care of you and their stuff that they sell on here is top notch and they're really good about their descriptions. Um, if they say that it's near mint plus, it's near mint plus. If they say they're scuffs, they're scuffs. Like they'll tell you up front. Uh, another one I like is the vintage Star Wars action figures. It's a public group uh, which makes it a lot bigger and you do see things, um, you do think, 
you do see things in here that you wouldn't normally see, but you also get a lot of people who are just coming in and asking, you know, what things are worth. Another one I like is Java's Court. Um, I really like this one a lot. There's just so many, there's just so many people who know their stuff more than I ever would. This is where I come to ask questions, and this is where mostly I just come to to browse. Um, you know, I don't even have to join the conversation because, like I said, there's so many there's so many more well-informed people out there just by looking at the conversations and tagging yourself or just you know following the conversations you learn a lot here and i have learned a lot so these are some of the you know so these are just some of the best sites that i like to go to and there's like i said there's just so many of them but um i do have my favorites you know like i said um there's some of my favorites out there um i tend to you know, post more in those groups or buy more in those groups. So yeah, it's just really up to you what you want to go to. But um, you know, those are just some of my favorites. All right, so those are some of the Facebook groups that I like. Again, you know, search uh, for yourself and let me know which ones you like to do because I would really love that input on which ones that, you know, the viewers out there that you guys trust and you guys go to. And plus, a lot of these groups, I've made a lot of good friends in these groups. You know, um, and it would be cool to one day hang out with them. You know, if they're in, if they're if you're in San Diego and you're one of the groups that I'm at, that I'm in, hit me up because I will take you out and I will buy you a beer or or whatever you like to drink, uh, you know, blue milk, whatever you want. But um, let's go through the list because we haven't done this in a while. So we do have a Greedo, uh, R5D4, the Power Droid. Um, we did get the Death Star droid, which is cool. Uh, we got Bosk. We also have an IG-88, uh, the Stormtrooper and the Hoth battle gear. All right, we also got Lobot. And we have an AT-AT driver or AT-AT. Let me know which one you prefer calling him. Uh, we did get Forlom. I love that character, Forlom. I, I love the way it looks. Uh, we also, where is he at? There he is right there. We got Wee Quay. Where is Wee Quay? Yet we got Wee Quay. Wee Quay is right there. I love his name too. The Emperor. We got Princess Leia in her, in her combat poncho. We got the Rancor Keeper. I believe last video I called him the Rancor Monster. That was a mistake. Rancor Keeper. He is not a monster. He's a good actor. <laughs> and that is about it we have not got anything from the power of the force nor will we for a long time maybe if we find a good deal we will but that's where we are right now so um that was a great recap i thought that was a great video um i don't care if they're long anymore i was trying to hit like under 10 minutes under eight minutes but really they're going to be as long as they're going to be if you guys like the content you guys are going to stick around so you know i'm i'm making this for people who really want to see this content and to really see what it's like trying to build up that those action figures. It's really hard, you know? Um, I mean, it's fun, don't get me wrong, it's fun. But it's just really hard because it's stressful because I, I do want to learn, I do want to get great deals, I don't want to waste money, and I think that's the most important part to me is that, yeah, I do want to finish the entire run. I don't want to go broke doing it, and I just don't want to spend my money just on things that look shiny and look cool I do want to research it and I do want to find the best deals and I do want help doing it which is that's why this whole community has been great a lot of people have reached out and a lot of people have said you know um, here's a place where you can get a get a good deal here's a great seller you know use eBay as a last resort which you know like I said I did buy a lot of figures in the beginning from eBay and we're still catching up on the videos of me getting to the point where I finally buy something on Facebook which will be soon but um, you know, I just, I like this journey. It's fun for me and this is enjoyable for me or else I wouldn't be doing it. Uh, it takes a lot of effort <laughs> to put, to, to make these videos of things that I've, I've purchased and, and, and I've bought, but I think I've never seen this on YouTube before. So I'm doing it for a lot of other people who I think would like this content because if I saw this on YouTube, I would binge watch. I would spend probably a whole weekend just trying to catch up, but that's just me. So anyways, thank you for being here. If you want to subscribe, subscribe please and hit that alert because I'm gonna have videos coming out uh, twice a week. I know I've been I've been putting out a lot of videos lately just because I'm trying to catch up to where you know I, I'm getting to the, 
to the, you know, finishing off the line, but I'm catching up on the videos and I'm putting them out as fast as I can. So subscribe so you can uh, catch up on the next episode. And also, um, you know, say what's up in the comments, put where you're watching from, put if you've completed your line or you're doing the same thing I am, um, and what's your favorite Facebook group, because I really want to know that. And, you know, um, click the like button, share if you know somebody who wants to watch this. But other than that, thank you for being a part of this journey, and I will see you next time. Thanks.